Adopt Me is angry at this game so much they're trying to get it deleted. I was just scrolling Roblox and I found this game called the Dream Pets Adopt Me Legendary Custom Pets. Now this game has 2,000 players on right now, which means 2,200 players are currently getting scammed and tricked into thinking this is Adopt Me. So let's find out what does this actually mean. The description just says the same thing 10 times in a row, but the fact that this has literally 1.2 million visits in a game that was made about three weeks ago definitely says that something suspicious is going on. If I click on who made this game as well, it just says this group has been locked. Which raises the question to how is this game even playable and what's in the game? What in the world is this game? Play every day to get better prizes. 20k bucks and if I come back tomorrow I get 50k. And on day 3 I'll get a Cupid kit soon? What would I get on the other days? I don't know but what I do know is that I now have 20,000 bucks. So what could I actually do with 20,000 bucks? I don't know but I can buy a million bucks for 400 robux but let's go and check out what this stuff is. This is called the Radiant Maker and this is called the Luminous Maker. Now this sounds interesting. Um, we can go and open this up. Convert pets into radiant. What is a radiant pet? Apparently it only costs a thousand bucks. Now I actually don't have any pets. So we're gonna try and get some pets and make a radiant pet. And then what is a luminous pet? So let's find out what that is. Um, it, it gets a little L next to it, which is fascinating. So we're gonna go and head on over to a different section where we can actually try and get some pets. So I'm kind of in like a candy land, which is pretty cool. So let's go and actually hatch some eggs. Over here, this says limited pets. And this definitely sounds like the world's biggest scam, but wow, do these things kind of look interesting. Over here, we have a Cupid Dragon for 20,000 bucks, which is coincidentally the exact amount of bucks that I have. I'm not even sure how you get more bucks. This is a Cupid Unicorn, again, 20,000 bucks. It's a unicorn without the horn like this unicorn isn't got a horn on it so that's interesting and then over here we have the cyrax for a hundred thousand bucks and the caraxes for another 100k i don't know but um they look very familiar right i don't know what even is that pet is that the shadow dragon wings maybe they made their own pet but it looks familiar right a chocolate owl for 15,000 bucks. It's not wrong. I guess it is a chocolate owl. It's kind of cool. But we want to hatch some stuff in this fake game. We've got to check out the whole fake game experience. So to go and hatch some stuff, I'm pretty sure I've got to go and head on over to this section to find out what I could possibly do. This person's got a witch shark. What in the world? What are people hatching? A pumpkin reindeer? Okay, congratulations to them, I guess. So a Halloween egg is only 250 bucks. So let's buy a bunch of these. I like the sound of Halloween eggs. Um, so there's a 4% chance of a legendary and then the mystery is 1%. Which means I'm gonna have to open 100 of these to try and get whatever that mystery is. Now to go and open these eggs, all you do is, I don't know how you open it. I equip it maybe? How do you open the eggs? Honestly, I I don't know. Like, I've clicked it. Now what am I meant to do? I don't know. Okay, I don't know what I did, but now I just have the egg. I don't even know. Oh, there's a button that says hatch in the bottom left. Oh, I see. Give me the legendary. We got an epic, which is actually a 10% chance. And this is just a crow, but they stuck some bat wings on its head to call it an evil crow. So I guess we click on the pet. And it works now. So we just got another epic. What are the odds of getting two 10% in a row? Pretty slim, I guess. So this is pretty easy to hatch. Obviously, you don't have to spend tons of time. How did I hatch three epics? You don't have to spend tons of time going and opening this. What? The odds for an epic is 10%, guys. How have I managed that? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. If it's 10%, how did I hatch four in a row? Maybe I'm just really lucky, I don't know. That seems extremely weird to hatch only the epic ones. Maybe I got like some bonus luck or something. Something doesn't seem to be adding up. If I get 10% out of all of these, that would be definitely weird. What? Maybe it's broken. I mean, the game is a knockoff game, so I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, we just got all of these being an epic which is a 10% odds. So mathematically, 
Your odds do not add up. I mean, I should have got a bunch of commons and stuff in your game, but you know what? I'll take it, I guess. Just get the ultra rares. Maybe it's for this as well. The next egg is called the evil egg, and this again, only 250 bucks. So let's go and hatch this. I wonder if I'll go and get the epic one. Of course, I don't know what's wrong. I think other people are genuinely hatching. Maybe everyone's just hatching epics. I don't know. I think the game might be slightly broken. Then again, it is a fake game. So if we just keep hatching the epic ones, then that's definitely interesting, I guess. We'll buy a bunch of whatever this is next. The return egg. I don't even know what that means, but I'm going to buy the return egg. We're going to buy a bunch of the return eggs. And I just magically got an extra, like, uh... Oh, I see. In two minutes, I'll get 13,500 bucks. <laughs> That's such a specifically random number. Let's open up this egg. Wait a second, we got the question mark one. Let's go. I don't even know what the question marks mean. So let's test that out. Is this like really rare? I don't know, but it looks like it's leaving a little smoke trail of little rings behind it, which is definitely interesting, by the way. I like how the chat says don't do cross trades or you will get scammed. Uh, considering this game is like a fake game, that's definitely interesting that they're warning you about that. Let's keep hatching these. Imagine if a dummy added, oh look, I actually got something bad. I got an ant. Now, now we're talking. How did I get like such good stuff on all of the other eggs? And now I'm just getting like the commons and the uncommons and stuff like that's extremely strange well let's hatch some of the return eggs and we got an another t-rex a white one what's this gonna be be something epic for me a golden shiny dragon now you know what that is the definition of epic let's have a look at you whoa you are cool look at that imagine if adopt me added like a question mark rarity that would make it so cool if they had a secret rarity pet. That's kind of sick. I like the look of this. I like the fact that it's got like all of these glowing stuff coming out of it. Okay, concept game, you've won me over. I like your question mark rarity pet. And I like them. Yes, the golden kangaroo. Let's go. Now, how do I make a radiant? Maybe I need to make a luminous first. So to do that, we need a chuck all of these in and then we convert it to luminous and there we go now we have a luminous version of the crow so i guess you have to do a luminous and then you make it radiant so to make a radiant you need the luminous pet which uh, yeah okay there we go i guess that makes sense you need the luminous to make the radiant and radiant means mega neon theoretically i guess now we have all of these options on the right hand side so let's check this avatar button first so in this, we can dress up our avatar, I guess. If you want to, you know, become a cool person, you can check on all of these different hairs. That seems okay. The chat says, only keep less than 500 pets to prevent data loss. What in the world? Anyway, I'm now dripped out in my brand new hair. There we go. Look at me. Now, what does this button do? Trade, maybe? I don't know, but we can click on it. Oh, you can actually trade people. So that's interesting. So let's just, let's just click a... A bunch of name. Oh, we clicked a name. I'm gonna offer you four sharks. What do you offer me? A neon shark. Great deal. I'll accept that. Uh, <laughs> what? What is this? What is this trait? They're offering me a chocolate owl, a, a turtle. Why would you do this offer? Honestly, I don't know what is occurring, but sure. Accept. I think the game is broken. Did did that just go through? No, I I don't know. Up here we have the shop button. Oh wow. <laughs> what? Buy a radiant pumpkin dragon for 500 Robux. Buy a radiant evil Kirin? A luminous pumpkin. A normal frost horse. A normal frost phoenix. A crimson dragon. Or a pumpkin dragon. All of these things cost a lot of Robux. This person sent me a trade off of my luminous crow i dare you to oh why would i accept that who do you think i am i don't even know what i'm looking at to be fair uh a bunch of interesting pets i'm gonna hit accept just to see if this trading feature even genuinely works out of pure curiosity i i don't think it does i don't think it does but you can trade bucks trade one buck at a time 
Yeah, I, I don't think the trading works. Now there's this button at the bottom right. So let's click this. Adopt me custom pets, we're back. Okay, so it's teleporting me into a, a different game called Original Custom Pets V5. Which is weird. Why would it teleport me to a different game? You know, before it teleports you into a different game, you think Roblox would have to ask your permission to let you know that you're about to get into a completely different video game. So now we are in V3? This one looks interesting. Oh, why have I just changed game again? There's definitely some type of strange scam where they like redirect you. Like I wanted to play the Adopt Me game and then it automatically redirects you into a completely different game. Like if I check my continue section, it now says I'm playing make YouTube videos. I didn't whatsoever click that I wanted to play this game. At no point did I ever say that I wanted to play this game. What What is this? Make YouTube videos be to become rich and famous? Honestly, I don't know what this is and why it automatically put me into this game. And why is Mr. Beast here? Honestly, I I don't know what's going on. We're gonna make some gaming. Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna be rich and famous, apparently. Yeah, so I wouldn't trust these games, guys. Like, the fact that it just randomly redirected me into this game, I'm definitely closing it. The fact this has 200 dislikes, but 2 million visits. 2 million visits and only 121 people liked it. Clearly shows that the people that are being visited are kind of like forced to visit this game when they didn't want to. Which is just extremely strange this whole scenario. The reason why Adopt Me goes and removes these games is because they directly go and copy some of their pets. And since they're stealing assets which are part of the game, it kind of just makes it illegal for copyright reasons. Which is why many of these games go and get taken down regularly. Now I don't hate these games, they are pretty interesting and I do like going and playing them, so don't go send any hate from this video. But for legal reasons, that's why these games are hated. By the way, I'm hosting a free Robux giveaway on my Fresh Cuts account. I've left a link in the description for you guys to go and follow me. There's a bunch of exclusive videos on here that you haven't seen before, so go and follow me on Fresh Cut today. Oh, and you you can actually buy free Robux gift cards using the website, so I recommend you check it out as it's actually genuine. Click this video here to see me rank every single Adopt Me legendary pet, from best to worst.